Hey, hello everybody, this is Seb de la Web, and I'm back with not really a flat sum uh, screencast this time, but a way how to uh, track the clicks of your buttons. Um, it's just good to know how many people are clicking on your buttons, I would say. And, you know, I combined it with a randomizer, so you get a little bit of an A and B testing also. Um, what's really nice, like I said, you can measure the clicks on your links, and they, this specific uh, plugin even has have a dashboard top team linker. So you can even see which links are clicked the most. And um, you actually need just two plugins. I'm gonna show you. I already installed them. The one is linker and the other one is random content to randomize your content. It does what it says. So um, let's get started. The first thing what I like to do is to work with the UX blocks because then you can visually edit the buttons also once you publish them. So let's create our first button and call this button one. And uh, if you're gonna do this a lot, so I mean a lot of uh, randomizing and, and you know tracking your clicks, I would say uh, working with uh, more than just only one name saying, okay, this button is placed on the home and it's placed in my hero section and you can you know work with this structure. And then we're gonna publish and then we're gonna create our first button and um, like I said, you can work with two buttons. You can even have five to randomize. And then you can really see which button is working the best for your uh, company or website. So the first button is going to be uh, shop now. I'm going to make it, um, let's say, uh, I'm going to you know, make it large in this case. I'm going to even get the icon up. So making the shopping cart there, put them on the left. And I think we could say success to make it green because, you know, it's a good conversion color. So this is our first button um, that we set up. And then we're going to create our second button. Very easy. I'm just for, for it to make things easy. I'm going to copy paste this specific short code. And then we're going to click on add new. So we're going to create a new UX block. And then Again, this is going to be on our homepage in our hero, and this is button two. We're going to publish, and then we're going to open up the UX builder again, and then you can change this button also to, um, you know, to any kind of different button just than the, uh, than the first one. Instead of the shopping cart, I'm going to work with the shopping basket. Uh, I, I give the primary color to make it black, or let's say secondary. So now I have two buttons. The first one was green and had a different icon. Uh, you could also, what would be nice maybe is to give it the border radius to make it uh, even you know, more friendly. And these are all things you can just play with. And if you have a lot of visitors, you can really see what is really working for, for you. Um, so now, okay, again, I have just two buttons set up in the UX blocks. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna randomize this. So we go to random content. And what's needed in this case is we need to have a group. I think, no, I don't have the group yet, but in this case, the group is home hero button. It's the same thing. It's the same category name. So it's just for my reference. So I know, okay, these are the home hero buttons. And then we get an idea. And that idea we need for the short code. I'm going to show you later on. So now we're going to add inside our random content, we're going to create a button one. And here on the right, we're going to say that button one is connected to the home hero button group. Simple as that. And then what we need to do is we're going to add that short code, that short code that we just got from the UX block. So this one, home hero button one. We're going to place that in our button one here. Done. And we're going to do the same for the second button. So button two, paste it in there. Make sure you change this, of course, to button two. And then add the, uh, the the random content to the specific group. It's really important. So that's done. And what you need to do now is get the short code for the random content. Unfortunately, they're not displaying that. Also not in the group section, unfortunately. But to get the short code, go to plugin, go to random content, and click on few details. Scroll a little bit down, and here you can find if you want to uh, random content for a specific group, just copy paste this, and then you need to change that idea ID. So let's check the ID again at the group section. 
it's 27. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our UX builder of our homepage in this case. We're gonna delete the button and then underneath where we want to have that random content, we have the random content group 64, I think it was 21, right? 27. 27, here we go. Apply, update. And now, if I just refresh, you can see it's changing. So on every visit, every refresh, people are seeing something different. So that's good. Um, that's done. And now we want to track, you know, which button is working best. So what we need to do now is we go to linker. This is the one. And we create custom links. I already did it. So let's just delete this because maybe it's confusing. So we're going to create again. And we call this home hero button link one it's just you know I, I just play around with that and then you need to redirect it to the to the to your link that you want to link to so let's say they're both linking to your shop page so it's going to be slash shop in this case so it's linking to the shop page we got just going to add that in here so this is going to be the redirect link publish and then you get a unique, um, where is it? A unique permalink. So this is the one. And the difference is that there's slash go between, as you can see. And then you have the link name. So this is the link you need, this one. So I'm going to copy paste that. And this I need to add to my button. So in this case, my, my button one. Go Going to UX blocks again. It's a little bit back and forth, but once you did it once, you can do it twice. <laughs> Scrolling down, and then we're going to add the link. So this is the unique link that I will apply and update, and I put and I attach to this button. And now the second button, I'm just going to create a new link. So that's the second link. We're gonna The, the link is the same, so it's going to be slash shop. And so it's home hero button link two. Here we go. And you can make it much uh, you know, shorter. It, it's just, it just doesn't really matter, but it's just important that you guys know that I'm using this only as a reference. Um, and now we go back to uh, the second button. Here we go. We open it up, click on it, scroll down, and then add that unique link to, uh, to that button. So now those, I'm just gonna refresh as you can see, and I'm just gonna click, and I'm just gonna click again on, no, that's the green one, so on the, the orange one as well. And now when I'm taking a look at the linker, you can see I clicked once on the green one, and maybe sh I should reference them you know, differently, but you, you guys can play with that. And one, one on the green one and one on the red one, and you even have that dashboard view, so you can see how many times uh, the link has been clicked and you can even you know edit it directly so this is a way to you know stay in wordpress you don't need any tool you can do a little bit of an a and b testing with randomizing content and with the linker you can even see if people actually are clicking so i hope this is useful for you guys i'm, I'm i just started using this because i just really want to know i'm uh, I'm creating more video content on sepdelaweb.com. Very happy with the new website. It's all about learning more about Flatsome, e-commerce, and other stuff. So visit my website and uh, start learning even more. Um, I'm also, um, well, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe on my channel, but just also visit my YouTube channel, and you will be the first to not be notified once I upload a new video. I'm also now active on Instagram. You know, we need it all these days. And it's even hard for me with two kids to stay updated. But I try to update as much as possible uh, and uh, showing you all the, the videos and the creative content I am sharing. So, okay, guys, um, all the best and good luck creating awesome websites. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>